Round number one, Czech Republic versus Estonia. And the crowd is going nuts yet again. Suicide takedown from the Czech fighter on the Estonian. And a jumping tackle. And one of the Estonian fighters trips over his teammate. Czech fighter's shield is an uh, Estonian fighter's shield is hanging loose. And now it's three against three. And the takedown. One of one of the Estonian fighters takes the Czech fighter to the ground. Now they're trying to trip the Czech fighter. One of the Estonian fighters goes down. So it's one against one now. And now the crowd is going absolutely nuts here. If you could feel what I'm feeling, the stands are shaking, the stands are vibrating from stomping feet and clapping hands. And down he goes! Down he goes and wild goes the crowd. What a fight from the Czech Republic fighters. Absolutely brilliant display. And I think one of the Estonian fighters is injured. Denmark won, Spain won. Please prepare. And yes, we have an injured fighter over there. Oh, he seems to be all right now. And he's getting the cheers from the crowd. Trying to get back up now. Back onto his feet. Another chance continue for the Czech Republic team. I really, really hope the live stream transports just a little bit of the atmosphere here. Good kick from the Estonian fighter, but it doesn't quite have the desired effect. And the Czech fighter successfully takes his opponent down and He's allowed to continue, yes he is. Three against two now. Good kick. And the fight is interrupted. Three against one, the fight is over. Czech Republic win. Of course, it's a great atmosphere and for us, and it's a cool that we are home team and a full, full arena of our visitors, of our fans. It's great, it's great. What is your strategy uh, here at Battle of the Nations, or you change it always depending on the team? Uh, it's it's uh, individual of, of for all teams. Uh, we know the teams. Uh, from last years, so we 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 uh, spectate them on the internet and so on. So we want to uh, put the best best strategy to each team. Uh, how many groups of five teams of five are there in the Czech Republic team? Uh, we have uh, we have four teams, four clubs, and uh, about about uh, six, seven, seven teams. Yeah, club, uh, one club has three teams and uh, the another two. So. Seven, eight, eight teams and four clubs. 
And how many supporters uh, live together with you in the authentic camp, approximately? In, in authentic camp, uh, we, are, we have about 33 uh, supporters. Do you think this kind of sport is developed in uh, the Czech Republic? Uh, I hope that yes, because uh, this, this even uh, sure, sure help us to develop all HMB and HMB sport to all people here. Thank you very much. We wish you good luck here. Thank you. You're Thank welcome. You. Seems to me that we have a new voice of the Battle of the Nations. Spain are ready, Denmark are ready. Here we go. Spain versus Denmark, round number one. And the Spanish fighter quickly on the ground. Hit Danish opponent stumbles over him. Other than that, a cautious start now. The Spanish fighter trying to get into the back of his opponents. And the Danish fighter fails with his attack from the side. And now Denmark are one man down. And a clinch up now against the wall defense. Good Muay Thai needs from the clinch there. Oh, and that was a foul, that was a kick to the back of the knee. And I'm afraid the Spanish fighter is injured. He seems to be in pain from that kick. And yes, I'm afraid the Spanish fighter will Spain need medical one, assistance. Spain wins. Spain win the fight, but at what cost? Belarus won, Israel won. Please prepare. And the Spanish fighter appears to be in serious pain. That was a nasty kick to the back of the knee. And I'm afraid we will need the medics on the list now. That is not what we want to see and I wouldn't want to be the Danish fighter that just delivered this nasty kick. We have injured Burial from Spain. And I'm afraid that was a red card. I think that resulted in a red card against the Danish I fighter. That he has injured like the medics are now there taking care of the Spanish fighter. He took uh, just to, to recap the situation. Peter Gonspad get red, gets red card. And yes, there we have the confirmation. Another fighter. A red card to Denmark for injuring the Spanish fighter. And let me recap the situation real quick. The fighters were clinched up against the fence. And the Danish fighter delivered a nasty stomping kick to the back of the knee of the Spanish fighter. And he is obviously injured and unfortunately it seems as though he was out of the competition. Through that injury he's unable to get up, the medics are taking care of him now. Let's hope the injury is not too serious but he seems to be in considerable pain. So there we have, unfortunately, the first red card of the tournament, the first red card of Battle of the Nations 2015. And it's been assigned to the Danish fighter who just delivered this horrible stomping kick to the back of the knee of his Spanish opponent. And he's up on his feet, or more or less he is, and he seems to be in serious pain. That is not what we want to see. Very unfortunate situation there.
So just to recap what's going on now, Denmark have to start the round one man down due to the red card. So one man disadvantage for Denmark at the start of this round. As a consequence of the red card, they have to complete the match with one man less than their opponents. And they made up for that. Denmark now equal again to Spain. Three against three now. Two against two. One against one. Trying to get his opponent away from the ra from the rail, so he can't hook his arm. Good shot to the head, and now this is probably going to turn into a stand-up match. You can see these two fighters are already tired. First of all, the heat is starting to get really, really a factor in this fight. In, in a suit of armor wearing around 25 to 30 kilograms, the heat is just unbearable by now. And down they go, and that's a draw. We have to wait to decision of marshals. Spain gets one point as Denmark has bro bro broken the rules. And apparently Denmark and have conducted... Wins. Denmark have conducted a misty manner. <laughs> violation of the rules and that means the win is awarded to Spain. <laughs> and then we have a, a dog on the list now. <laughs> And please take care of that dog. And this dog is probably the Let's most difficult fight. to catch person Belarus ever on that Israel list. One. Please come to the list. But I think one of the marshals has got him now. And here we go with Israel versus Belarus. Round number one. Israel fighter lost his weapon and the marshal's been taken down here. Good kick to the Israeli fighter against the barrier there. And that does not look good for the Israelis. The Israeli fighter down and that's the stoppage. 
vítězí Bělorusové. Belarus 5, Israel 0. Belarus wins. A 5 nil victory for Belarus over Israel. Please don't come to the list at all. And here we go with round number two, the Israeli fighter only just retaining his balance there. What an act of... What an act of control over his own body, I'm impressed now. Ah, good shots to the back. This is just straight up domination and I think it's over already. The Israeli fighter, his helmet has broken. The visors come off. Belarus 4, Israel 0. And Belarus, Belarus wins 4-0. Wins. has not been started yet dangerous misunderstanding there do téhle bitvy svůj trumf ano starý známý opere na scéně ano and now we're ready and here we go slovakia and belarus starting at the night march does seem to know where to go slovakian fighter tackling his own teammate there and he's got to the ground from a hard shot with the pole axe. But he signals to the marshal, he's all right, and the fight is already over. I'm afraid one of these Slovakian fighters has been injured. Gingerly getting back to his feet. Ukraine to Finland to please prepare. Uh, and that you looks like yet another leg injury. injury, yes, Please definitely. Prepare. Can't use his right leg. And now the medics are there as well. That does not look good. For my personal likings, we're seeing a lot too, too many injuries here. And he's back on his feet. And here we go, Belarus versus Slovakia. And that's a quite a taunt that we've seen there. And one of the Belarus fighters now taking, taken down. Nice suplex attempt. And that deserves some acclaim, even from the Belarus fighter that was taken down. There's the stoppage already. Three against one, the fight is over. And they <laughs> I'm glad to see some friendship over here. I'm always impressed that these men, they battle it out. Full contact fighting. Five against five. 16 versus 16. 21 versus 21. I don't know how many men are in these fields sometimes. Just battling it out. So here we go, Ukraine versus Finland. Ukraine in dark blue and yellow, Finland in white and light blue. Ah, oh, and what a shot, and that takes it down. Two Finnish fighters quickly, three Finnish fighters quickly on the ground. One of the Ukrainians goes down with them, and that is already over. Ukraine, 
Ukraine for Midland Zero. Ukraine that Ukraine was wins. insane. I should have looked at my watch and just try and get the time. And here we go with round number two. Ukraine versus Finland. Let's see if they can do it just as quickly again. Or if the Finnish can step up their game a little bit. And one of the Finnish fighters going down. Oh, and what a hard shot. And the second one goes down and lands on top of his teammate. And we're already done again. And that's probably been around 30 seconds in this match. 2-4-0 round wins and that means Ukraine take home a very dominant 2-0 victory over Finland. Congratulations on the, vic on the victory. Uh, what strategy do you use to win? Well, it depends on who we fight and uh, probably uh, the, uh, the, strategy. the strategy of uh, opponent. Because if, if they use uh, the long two-handed weapons, we use one strategy. And when when they use when when they have uh, light fighters and uh, uh, short weapons, then we use our strategy. It, we have lots of strategies. We practice lots of them, and uh, we can fight. Thank you very much. We wish your team to win. Thank you. Thank you. Fighters who don't fight. Please step away from the list. And here we go. Round number one is underway. And almost an early trip for one of the Americans. And that has taken a quick turn. So look at that. American and Israeli fighter sitting on the ground next to each other, just fist bumping. And if I'm not mistaken, the Israeli fighter with the right with the red shield, that is Michael Morgulis, the Israeli captain, usually referred to as Morgul. And he is a very well-known pro fighter. He's a competitor in the World Medieval Fighting Championship, the WMFC. So he's probably one of the most dangerous guys you can go up against in a one versus one situation. And there you can see why. Brilliant trip takedown. That is fighting at the very finest. So Israel gets two points, USA zero. Israel wins. So two nil victory for Israel. Israel. Tábor našich válečníků a měl jsem možnost vidět zbroj, která byla od krve. And here we go, round number two, the United States versus Israel, <coughs> and one of the United States fighters already on the ground very quickly, and a suicide take on the background, and another American. And that was, that escalated quickly, I can't say anything else. That escalated quickly. Yet another victory for Israel. 3-0 three three win Israel over wins. the United States. Captain of Team Israel, you have just won, it was quite easy for you. We know that yesterday, the, for the first time for the Israeli team, you were in 21 versus 21. What is the difference for you and for your team between 5 versus 5 and 21 versus 21? First of all, we have no experience in uh, big nominations. Also, it's a mix of team, no work of command. And now, it's only we, only our team, only our fighters. We know, we know more. Than, uh, than from bigger royal nomination. Uh, how many legionaries were there yesterday in the royal nomination in your team? From four countries. What are the countries? Estonia, Moldova, Serbia and Finland. What are your expectations for today? Which teams might be challenging for Team Israel? I don't want to talk about it because we always lose when we see we win. We wish you good luck. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Thank you. 
And here we go. Slovakia versus Spain. Good shots there. Now the Slovakian fighters are running out of opponents and that's the stoppage. And a 2-0 win for Slovakia. Slovakia 3, Spain 0. Slovakia okay. wins. We can hear that Slovaks have here a lot of support. And here we go with round number two, Slovakia versus Spain. First round went to Slovakia and a failed trip takedown attempt. And Spain already one man down. And a pile of bodies over there with a Spanish fighter on top. And that's the stoppage. 3-0 victory again for Slovakia. And one of the Spanish fighters not succeeding to stand up on his own. He's getting some support now. Ah. All right, I have to pay my respects to the man who just lifted an armored fighter back onto his feet. Why is that guy not in armor? He must be strong. Pardon me for that. And now some love from the stands for the Slovakian fighters here in Prague in the Czech Republic. and some great sportsmanship on display as well. And yes, the Swiss show some chivalry there. One man for feats the bout before it has even started. So we start with four against four, and the Estonians quickly charging, and a good attempt, and he gets the takedown, although it is a suicide takedown, going down himself and some respect from the Swiss fighter for that nice trip takedown. Swiss fighter gets the takedown and now they have the numerical advantage. Three up against two. And the Swiss fighter Stop. gets the takedown, and that's the stoppage of the fight. 3 0 for Switzerland. Switzerland gets three points. Switzerland wins. Samozřejmě se zbraněmi, kterými se neublíží, jaké to je bojovat tady v ringu. And here we go, four against four, Switzerland versus Estonia. Switzerland in red with a white cross, Estonia in black. And a quick double takedown. So three against three now once again. And a hard shot into the barrier. And another suicide takedown by the Swiss fighter. Now the Swiss fighter and the Estonian opponent creating some space and a good hit into the barrier. Nice tactical move. And now they're up in the clinch, two against two. Up against the fence. The Swiss fighter struggling hard to stay on his feet. 
And both go down, so it's a last man standing match now between the Swiss with the Polax. Or with the two-handed axe to be precise. And the Estonian fighter with Felsian and Shield. Good shots with a fist to the head. And that produces a woo from the crowd. Now he's trying to get the trip taken. He's disarmed. He needs to break free and grab hold of a weapon. And the Estonian fighter gives him a chance to grab hold of a weapon. What a close fight. What a hard fought battle there between the Swiss and the Estonian. Neither fighter can really take the upper hand in this duel now. So I guess the marshals will break this up in a second and move them back to the middle of the field. That would be a sensible thing to do now, otherwise we'll have a stalemate up here at the, at the fence. Fighters create some space now. <laughs> and now the Estonian charging with a headbutt. <laughs> Trying to get control of the Swiss opponent. And then we have the takedown, and that is a draw, I think. Yes, there's a confirmation. We have a draw in this round. Switzerland zero, Estonia zero. Draw. Next round. So I think the teams are ready now for round number four, for round number three. Pardon me. Four against four as. Estonia are no longer capable of fielding a full five-man team. And here we go, Switzerland versus Estonia. Who can take the upper hand in this third round? Good charge by the Estonians, and now one of the Swiss fighters is all on his own, but now his teammate comes to his, uh, to his rescue. And the Estonian fighter, one goes down, a Swiss fighter goes down, so three against three now. And a suicide takedown. One of the Estonian fighters down on the ground by the fence. And all they need to do, that's said, that's said so easily, they need to take him down, and they do! And Switzerland win! Switzerland win round number three. One nil, and that means... cameraman off the list and here we go with Ukraine versus Belarus and that's going to be one of the toughest fights that we are going to see all day two of the best nations in this sport going up against each other five versus five Belarus versus Ukraine battle of the nations 2015 and a quick takedown from the Ukrainian on the Belarus fighter the Belarus fighter switching target over there this is just so so close It's hard to call who has the advantage there. Whenever one goes down, he takes the other with him. These are just two of the very best teams in this sport. 
three against three now. Two against two, and he gets the Tyrik down, and he goes down himself, so it's a last man standing match now. Stop! Fight! And the fight is stopped. And that's a 1-0 victory for Belarus because of an armor failure on the Ukrainian fighter. And here we go, Ukraine versus Belarus. Now number, round number two. The first round went to Belarus with a one-man advantage. Now let's see who takes the upper hand in round number two. Certainly one of the closest fights that you'll see all day. And a good trip take on, but he goes down himself. Oh, this is just so, so close. Hart knocks now to the... Oh, that's a nasty clinch there by the side. I'm going to listen, something came off one of the fighters and the Belarus fighter goes down. And the fight is broken up now. The fight is stopped because of... Oh, no, no, just one of the Ukrainian fighters is taken out of this fight due to an armor failure. And the Belarus fighter takes the advantage and takes the win because of the technical failures on the Ukrainian fighter. Если сустав закрыт, если сустав закрыт, можно продолжать бой. Это правило нужно. Still some talking to there to do with the marshals. Ukraine is of course not happy having lost this fight due to technical failures. And that's why the team from Belarus is not yet leaving the list. Oh, oh sorry, pardon me. Belarus has left the list. That is the other Belarus team who are waiting for their fight against Switzerland. So apparently Belarus thinks that they... Right now there has been a fight between Belarus and Ukraine. There was a problem. And can you explain what, what is happening right now? Well, uh, of, uh, one, one, for one of our fighters, uh, the belt that, uh, that holds the protection for the kneecap has broken. And uh, it still protects the knee. And uh, it's the argument between the marshals. And uh, because we had several situations on previous championships, on similar championships, when uh, with this, in this case, fighter was allowed to fight. And now the fighter was pinned down by the marshal. 
So what do you think will be the final decision of the marshals? I don't know, it, it's up to the marshals. So apparently you are not taking off the armor, you are ready to fight one more time. Yes. Depending on the decision of the marshals. Yes. Thank you very much for the clarification, we hope for all the better. Thank you. Thanks. Thanks. Thank you. Bye. Belarus 1, Ukraine 0. Belarus wins. Běloruska, tentokrát proti Švýcaru. Bělorusové poskládali ruce souborů v bitvách pět proti pěti. And the Swiss fighter going to the ground after the Belarus fighter wrestles him down and that doesn't look good for Switzerland already. A hard shot into the barrier. Swiss fighter on the ground. One of them is being brutalized in the corner now. The Swiss fighter being swung around like an extension to the pole axe and that's the end. 5-0 victory for Belarus in round number one. And the first loss for Switzerland, the first loss of a round for Switzerland in their 2015 campaign. Switzerland has done a good job previously, but Belarus is just, just in another league. And here we go with round number two. Good trip, takedown on the Swiss fighter, kicking the legs out under him. Two Swiss men already on, their gr on the ground. And now they're just being brutalized here. Look at those shots. Three Swiss fighters on the ground. Four Swiss fighters on the ground. There's the stoppage. And that's the end of it. 5-0 victory, or was it a 4-0? Four 4-0, I think. Zero. There we have the confirmation. Belarus 4, Switzerland 0. That's the result. Thank you. 
Switzerland versus Czech Republic. And here we go. Aggressive start from the Swiss fighters. Trying to quickly get the upper hand. And a suicide takedown from one of the Czech fighters. And Swiss fighter going to the ground there. Now the advantage for Czech Republic and another Swiss fighter on the ground. And the crowd is going wild and that's the victory I think. Yes, that's the victory. Czech Republic take the victory home in the first round. So here we go with round number two. And just listen to the fans in attendance here. They are going absolutely wild. And here we go, Czech Republic versus Switzerland, round number two. Sorry for my crackling voice, it's already a long day for me. Uh, Swiss fighter nicely taken down there by the Czech, by his Czech adversary. And yet another takedown. And the, look at the Muay Thai knees in the clinch there in the corner. Knee after knee to the head of the Swiss fighter. And the fight is over and the Swiss fighter looks knocked out to me. <coughs> Pardon me. Uh, I think he's alright. What 
start? Um, well, the other team had a lot of bigger guys than we did. I think size and experience definitely played into uh, how well the fights turned out. How has developed this kind of sport in America? Unfortunately, in America, the sport is developing slow. Now, it's, it's not as developed in Europe, but uh, we're, we're slowly getting there. Are there a lot of clubs that uh, constitute your team? How many clubs are there actually? Um, right now on our team, there's probably four different clubs, members from four different clubs making up our team. Uh, there is uh, the category 21 versus 21 yeah. and 5 versus 5. What is your favorite personal and why? Well, uh, I like the 21s most. I think it's got a, a different kind of challenge to it Israel and it's more one. gritty. Please, come to the lead. There is also the women's category. Are there any women in your team, the fighters who represent the USA? Uh, we have two female fighters and uh, they, they are doing, they're doing okay. Uh, fun to watch and it's fantastic to have them on the team. Uh, what are your expectations for Battle of the Nations this year for Team USA? Uh, you know, at best, being realistic, I think uh, we're going to hope for third place in the 21s. Uh, obviously, the fives, no. Why not? Uh, just, I just think the competition is just too good to this year. So, thank you very much. We wish you good luck. Thank you. Thank you. Right now with me are the volunteers of the Battle of the Nations here. Uh, what is your role here? Well, we're members of tournament team, so uh, actually uh, we need to um, uh, watch fights, we need to announce them, we need to count the scores, uh, and uh, then we announce which uh, countries go um, to the next round and uh, mm -hmm. uh, which, uh, which uh, teams wins win or not. So you work hand in hand with marshals, as far as I understand. Is it challenging? No, it's nice to work with them. They they are helping us, and we are helping them. Uh, how one can become a volunteer at uh, the Battle of the Nations for HNBA? Uh, you need to go to the uh, site of uh, this uh, event, and you can become a, a volunteer. But you need to know English language. Mm -hmm. What other skills are you need here for the volunteer? Uh, actually, the most of the important skills you need to uh, be able to communicate in team. You need to um, uh, you need to know how to work 16 hours a day. Actually, it's a great job, and you need to have mood to that to it, and that's all. Uh, how many years have you been participating in Battle of the Nations? Well, this is my second year, and um, uh, I really like it, and I'm going to participate. As, more, as much years as possible. And you? This is my first year, but I really like it. Okay. Thank you very much. We wish you to have a pleasant job and pleasant fun here. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. 